Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Trico, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my final movie review is In the Good Old Summertime. It was released on July 25th, 1949. It is a musical dramedy that has a 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb, a 56% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 91% on Google. On a $1.5 million budget, it made $3.5 million at the box office. It was directed by Robert Z. Leonard and written by Samson Ralphison, Albert Hackett, and Francis Goodrich. And this is a remake of The Shop Around the Corner, starring James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan. And um, there was also another remake of this movie in 1998 called You've Got Mail, starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Um, I had seen the first movie already, now I've seen this uh, version and I'll have to check out You've Got Mail but In the Good Old Summertime stars Judy Garland, Van Johnson and Buster Keaton and it's about Veronica and Andrew who don't get along they work in the same store um, but what they don't know is is they're writing letters to each other and they're madly in love with the people who are writing the letters eventually um, they put aside their differences they work together and they fall in love and that is the movie it is pretty much an exact almost an exact remake of the original movie and this just proves my point um, there was a youtuber um, who I won't name who was complaining about all the remakes about Hollywood not uh, being able to come up with anything original uh, especially with all the live-action Disney movies that are being remade. Um, he was really complaining about it, did a video about it. And uh, this just goes to prove that they've been remaking movies since film's been around. Um, they only waited not even nine years to redo this movie. And uh, it just goes to show you it's been going on for over 60, 70 years now. And it's not going to stop. Um, and I always say, if you don't like remakes and stuff, then don't watch them. Uh, if you're only watching them just so you can make a bad video and trash the movie and get your views, you know, okay. But, you know, I don't want to hear you complaining about uh, movies being remade and nothing original coming out when it's been going on for a long time. So. But as far as this movie goes, though, I really did enjoy it. I love Judy Garland. Uh, her singing, like I said, she could sing me to sleep every day if I could. If I could. And um, The other two movies, um, the first movie especially, had a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. The third movie with Tom Hanks has a 69% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it fared better than the second movie, which only had 56%. But I enjoyed it. The cinematography is gorgeous. I like the song. And I like the story, of course, because I love the, the shop around the corner as well. But this one's not as good, but it's not going to hurt the whole point system that much, though. Um, so with that, I will give In the Good Old Summertime a 9 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So in the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions if you've seen the movie. If you've seen all three versions of this movie, uh, which one was your favorite, let me know. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all my videos as I do top tens, rankings, movie reviews, TV show reviews, um, and trailer reviews. Uh, sometimes I'll do some special rankings as well, uh, or I'll record a special clip of the movie. And talk about it. Uh, usually it'd be my favorite part in a movie that I like to talk about. But uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned tomorrow for two more brand new movie reviews as I will be watching The Secret Life of Pets 2 and it will be Godzilla the King of Monsters. Thank you for watching and check you later.